So, so it's, it's on, it's on, it's on. Yeah, it's, it's hooked the wrong way. So, yeah, so wait, wait. That's all right. No, I'm going to tell you why Alice says um, that the Bible is non corrupted. Yeah? Well, we're talking about. But you're telling me, and I'm telling you that you're also claiming Allah to be less than all powerful. Although Muslims do, because they say he doesn't enter creation. So, Allah says um, that he revealed those books. He is Yahweh, is what he's saying. And he also says, and to you, Orisa, to your followers, I will make them superior until the day of judgment, and then I will resolve their disputes. You can look at me bemused, but Allah says that, okay? And then, if that's the case, and the Bible is corrupted, that means, well, it says superior. No, Christians, Christians will be made superior by Allah until the day of judgment, when he, re will, he will resolve their issues amongst them. But... If the Bible is corrupted, that means there can be no true Christian and therefore Allah is lying. At the time, Jesus, At the time the of the revelation of the Quran, Allah states... When the Bible was revealed to Jesus, so yes. right one, but over time it was corrupted. Allah says That's until judgment day. How can there be new Christians if after the time of Muhammad it was corrupted? No, at the time of Muhammad the Quran was revealed. After and the, the Quran time... is the whole yeah. book. So, because over time... Give me That's evidence. Evidence, please. I'm talking about the Bible. Evidence, right now. no evidence from the Quran that the Bible, the Bible is corrupted. I'm, I'm bringing a Bible right now. No, bring the Quran. Bring the Quran and show me where the Bible is corrupted. How do you know this part isn't corrupted? How do you know your argument isn't a corrupted part? I'm just telling you right now. Can you answer my question? No, you're going to answer my question. Matthew 19:2. It says, "You want? With God, all things are possible." So here it says that God I is all powerful. Yeah. Yep. But here in Judges 119, it says the Lord was with Judah. Yes. The Lord is the Old Testament. Judges 119. The Lord was with Judah and he drove out the inhabitants of the mountain. But he could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley because they had char chariots of iron. What does it say here? Okay, is that the corrupted part that you're quoting me? So I'm, I'm asking this is a you. I know. If a I know. How is Excellent. It the word of God? Excellent. The, the Bible doesn't say that. It's the the Quran claims that if you find an error, it's all in error. Yeah. Allah says if you if find one error, that means it's no. Not be a that's word of God if Allah's it's error. claim. That's Allah's claim, and there are contradictions in the Quran. But the Bible itself. To me that there's contradictions. Um, you the cannot carry the burden of another, and yet some will carry the burden of another. That's in the Quran. Sammy will. It's in the Quran. So. Back to my point, you're quoting me judges. I'm asking you to show me from your Quran evidence that the Bible is corrupt. And if you can't, I can ask you, is that the corrupted part you're reading to me? Because you believe it to corrupted. You believe it to be corrupted. No, I'd like evidence that the Bible is corrupted. Before you, that's not a corrupt, it's not a corruption. Do you know what textual criticism is? Corruption means that they rubbed a bit out. They put a new bit in. They took a, a bit out. Yeah, that is corruption. Further, that he may warn those also who see Allah had begotten a son. Yes. Is that the primary consideration of the Bible? The Bible says um, Jesus is the son of God. So now the you're... Okay, so, okay, yeah, I saw this, I see this. So now, so just for anybody who can't pick up their voices, he's showing me a part that where Allah says, um, basically, he hasn't begotten any son. So now, so this young boy uh, uh, showed me, no, it doesn't. So this young boy showed me uh, two verses which seem contradictory, one from the old and one from the new. We can if find... there's a contradiction, Excuse me. Yes. No. Okay. So you can make your little face at me and then so potentially the grab a little bit. But this gentleman, this gentleman, sorry. So the word of God excuse me, I'm trying to deal with this gentleman. Okay, okay, this gentleman has, has showed me a verse that contradicts the Bible, a Quranic verse which corrupts the... Uh, sorry, corrupts, contradicts the Bible. And that is my... Um, one of my uh, primary reasons for disbelieving the Quran. So Allah says he has not begotten a son. He also goes on to say he hasn't begotten a son because he has no consort or nobody to procreate with. When we know that God is, um, you know, fully able to do this stuff. So your point about the contradiction between the books, I would, I would agree with you. Yes, there is a contradiction between the Bible and the Quran. And the main contradiction is that Jesus Christ was crucified and the Quran is the only book in history really that denies the crucifixion. It says it took part, it took place, but it was like a big big con job. Uh, sorry? 
I'm talking about the New Testament. The Bible as a whole says the crucifixion happened. And as a result of the crucifixion and resurrection of Christ, Christians, not Jews, are saved by the blood of the the, etern the son who is sent into the world as a lamb to atone for the sins of the world. So there's no, with all due respect, finding me contradictions between the Bible and the Quran is kind of like thoughtless. You are. Now let, me, now let me educate you on what corruption means. Do you know what corruption means? Corruption is something is good and it is made bad. So a corrupt politician presumably is... Give me one minute, Sammy, I will come to that. So... Corruption means something was perfect and now it's been uh, like falsified or made rotten. But contradiction is not corruption. Because today I can be happy. I tell the truth, I am happy. Tomorrow I'm not happy. I say I'm not happy. I'm not contradicting myself. God himself, God, um, okay, let me look at the verse that you're talking about. God, God, God will, yes, God does, God does, but God does change what he says in relation to certain things. In the Old Testament, he says, don't eat these unclean things. And God in the New Testament says, thus all foods were made clean. So, yeah. Yes, judges. So, the laws were... So, let me explain again. So, in Matthew 19... I, I, am, I fully heard you. Could you just tell so me the judges reference? Is, I've got the so reference. Judges 119. Yeah. So, can you please, please explain why God couldn't drive out the inhabitants? Oh, the, the he, verse already says it, yeah, but judges... But God, all things are possible. Excellent. And it's just... Excellent. While I'm looking for the verse, can you tell me why Allah doesn't enter his creation? Why wouldn't he? He wants. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, he can't. He can't. Can he do it? Can he do it? So, can he enter creation? Is he? Why can he? No, no. You, you, you've heard me wrong. I'm saying, can he? Does he have the ability to? He doesn't. He doesn't. Because he is ever above his throne. He's, well, I'm giving you a contradiction. He's ever above his throne, always above his throne. And yet he comes down to hear the, the prayers of the faithful to the lowest heaven. He can't be on top of his throne and be nipping up and down because it's always prayer time somewhere in the world. So anyway, I'm getting to Judges. Judges yeah. what? 119. 119. And also, yeah, um, Allah is not, he does not enter his creation. He's also unable. He's also unable to see the near future because he tells Muhammad, "You can have any woman, like uh, you know, you can take the wife of any woman." And then when the, uh, you know, when the when all these women start queuing up, when all these women start queuing up at Muhammad's door, he then gets a new revelation that says, "Can you not bother him?" I'm not. I'll show you it in the Quran. Right, but I'm doing this. It says, "But they could not drive out," so it's not God. It's Judah. No, nope. they. But they could not drive out the inhabitants. The Lord was with Judah. So Judah is the they and the Lord is the Lord. And they, Judah, took possession of the hill country. But they, Judah, could no, not no, drive no, out. No, 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 no. Lord and Judah. No, the no, Lord they, was they. with Judah. It says the. the. Judah it's is Lord a tribe. J Judah is a tribe. So you read it wrong in the first place to me. You said, but the Lord could not. You said, but the Lord... It says they. Anyone? Judges 119. All right, give me your next argument. It does not mean that. It does not mean that. Judah is a tribe. Jesus is God, right? Yes. So how doesn't he know the end of time? Because oh, I've got an answer for this. It's absolutely perfect. Um, Jesus is not solely God. Jesus is the second person of the triune God. You can frown all you like. I think you understand the Godhead. Okay, then, then that's fine. You're spiritually blinded. So to camera, what I'm going to say is this. God, I'm, I'm answering you to the camera. So God, Jesus is the is, Jesus is the Word of God. He is the second person. I can't shout into my mic. He's, where is my mic? Oh, he's the second person of the Trinity. Whilst, excuse me, whilst Jesus is on earth, he is still fully, he represents the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That is what we're told. The fullness of the Godhead incorporates the three. And whilst the Father knows all things, God is, uh, Jesus is still a part of the Godhead. Therefore, God does not diminish in his knowledge. He emptied himself. So in, in terms of Hebrews, he emptied himself 
and he was made he made himself less excuse me he made no Jesus Christ Jesus is God he is God but he is not the father and he is not the spirit I can't deal with your theological issues I'm trying to answer your questions but bro is it education or do you want to refute all so so anyway in Hebrews he is better than the angels but he is made lesser than the angels and takes on the visage of a of a servant but in Hebrews God calls Jesus Christ God Jesus bows to the Father. Yes or no? He, he prays to the Father. He, right? he also he looks up to the Father and prays. Yeah. Praying is not worshiping. So he's, worshiping. he's not an atheist. All right. So you're saying Jesus is God. So how can Jesus worship God if he's God? Because he is his God, his Father. His Father is his God. So how can he be his Father and he's praying to he the Father? He is not his Father. He he, he is his father. I'm talking about the Father. It's the Father of Christ. Christ is the eternal Son made. Not fire. Turn it around. So for anyone who needs to know, there's a big fight. No, it was St. Breaking, but he's got him around the throat. I got my... You better run, mate! Oh, don't worry about that. He's strangling someone. That wouldn't have been John, surely. Right. <sighs> Yeah, I... Muslim as its finest! Yes, Muslim! Yes, we need Get an ambulance! Okay. All right, excuse me. Excuse me. Could you just hold that a minute? I'm going to see if I can do some first aid. Do you need a first aider? Please, please. Yeah. 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 Right, she needs to be put into the recovery position. So, if you mind out of the way, love. All right, okay. All right, mind. Hatton, I'm going to move your arm, and I'm going to, I'm going to just put this. I'm going to try and clear your airway and put that under your head, and then I'm going to move your knee up so you can be. And then I'm going to take your pulse. Sorry, my hands are cold, Hatton. All right, don't cover your mouth. Let you breathe. You all right? All right, if everyone can stand back, because there's a six people thing. If you just stay down there a minute. You all right? You've got some little tiny scrap. Don't try and stand up yet. Just sit slowly. You're all right, you're all right. Yeah, if everyone could just stay back. Try not to. Well, because she was You're right. Don't try and stand up yet. Wait till you feel a bit. Do you want some water? Do you feel sick? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't try and stand up, Hatton. Hatton, don't stand. I'm trying to. Hatton, try and stay down a minute. No, I don't want to shush because I'm a first aider. I want you to stay on the ground, please. You got it? Is it cracked? Where's my glasses? Glasses. Anyone see glasses? Uh, yeah, there they are. Right in the the glasses. Oh, shut. They're broken in half. They're broken in half and there's no glass. So that's half of them. Let's see if the other half is... Where's the camera gone now? Yeah. You got it? Yes, please. Yeah, hi. Yeah, let's look. Right, if everyone can look under their feet, because there's no way anything that. I think it's under that under that. Half of looking, they're broken.
punched you? Uh, Who punched her? Uh, is it on well, camera? Yeah, it happened about two minutes ago. So I don't got talk to you. Do you want well, some water? Uh, I think, right, sorry, uh, I think I the police Yeah, I did some. Madam, have you got any injury? Yeah. Yes. Been her her glasses have been broken in half. Are you wanting to make a formal allegation? Well, what do you think? Yes, she does. Of course, she's going to say no. I'm asking her, not you. Well, if you were paying attention, it wouldn't have happened. Well, I'm speaking for her. Sir, I want to make sure my assistant brothers are okay right now. And I want to make sure the person who punched me. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Are you listening? She's answering your question. Excuse me, the man. I can't speak because I don't have my glasses. Does it make sense? Was that who John was strangling? Oh, I I don't know John has someone around the throat like that. Right, where's the Soko camera? That's not it. Where's the camera, guys? No, 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 no.
absolute rubbish. No, 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 Thank you. Thank you. 